Hello everyone, Mantis Dude 101 here. Today we're going to be talking about caring for Idola Mantis Diabolicas or the Giant Devil's Flower Praying Mantis. Um, it is possibly the most hardest to care species in this hobby. You know, I'd say one in four nymphs doesn't make it to adulthood. Maybe one in three. These guys really like to miss molt. Partially due to the fact their feet, they can't climb up um, sticky surfaces, unsticky surfaces such as plastic. This, which is why I've got, this is plastic here, but this is mesh. I've got one meter tall mesh enclosure. This is a L4, L5. Um, and just, he's a male, just to make sure he doesn't have any mist molts. I've added some very coarse netting at the top. Just attach that kind of drooping over so you can get a good grab for it. And they need lots of branches too to molt from. These species do miss molt a lot. You shouldn't miss these guys too much. Seeing as this is a mesh cage, I missed it non-directly every day or every two days. Um, because they come from, I think, Tanzania in Africa. And they do not like humidity at all. Um, maybe once before a molt you can wet some of that eco earth down there just you know so they can slip out of that old exoskeleton a bit easier um let's talk about feeding what are you going to feed these guys okay here i've got some sorry about that lucifer that's his name lucifer um here i got some fly pupae the main thing you want to feed these guys is flies i made the mistake i've switched to flies because i've been feeding him roaches um these red runners over here um but maybe once in a while you can throw in a dubia like 10 percent of the time not very much and even when you do i'd recommend dipping it in some honey or something just for extra nutrition but the best food you can have buy some maggots you can get a few hundred for like 75p or that's like i don't know in america one dollar 25 it they're quite cheap the maggots pop them in in about two days time there will be fly pupae and then it'll take them around five to ten days and they'll just hatch out or you can just pop them in here and then they hatch out but the i like to keep mine in here so you can ensure they're going to get a decent meal so yeah this has been a video on giant devil's flower praying mantis care enjoy if you have any questions leave them in the comment section remember to like the video and subscribe and um, Bye-bye. Say goodbye to Lucifer. Bye.